we're going to try to finish the eternal cylinder tonight. I know that there is potentially another three to five hours, depending on how many, um, you know, sauce rants I go on tonight. I think we'll finish tonight. I think we'll get through it. Stop talking. I want to see Gunu. I do too. Yeah, shut this guy up. Let's go. I One thing about this game I really do appreciate is this thing. The, hey, here are the two points of intro. Oh. I, okay. We have to go over there. Don't care. Switch to Gunu. Gunu? Where's Gunu? Oh. <gasps> Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Can we get a recap? Um, okay. We're, we're kind of at the... We're near, the, I think, the final arc of the game. So, it's, give me a second. All right. There are these creatures. And they are called Trebums. And that's what we have here. They are little magical creatures that can... You know, just go watch the intro cinematic on YouTube. It, it, it would, it, it's probably two minutes. It's going to take me eight minutes of just stumbling around, slowly talking to explain it. You know what I mean? In the, in the amount of time of me going, so it's these creatures that during a journey, you, you could have already watched the opening cinematic. Here, how about this? Run away from the giant rolling pin that is crushing all civilization. There you go. Who's the DPS? The DPS is this guy right here. This guy is a stomp. This guy also can, uh, can take... Um, bombs from this one. So this is like a, a damage support and I'm the one that actually shoots the bombs. For instance, check this out. I missed everybody run. <laughs> I would have just gotten booted from the raid right there. Sick gameplay. It went right through his legs. That's not my fault. Uh, I think we're dying in here. What an inhospitable place this was. The air was suffocating and the heat was almost unbearable. Oh, shit. The Trebum would have to make good use of their abilities to overcome the obstacles before them. Okay. Um, what? But who would choose to actually live here? All right, we actually have to move what? now. Oh, shit. Hold on. Somebody... We're fine. Is this it? Fire-resistant bark? Okay, somebody's... Um, we gotta eat this right now. Ooh, uh, Gino's gonna eat this. I wonder if only one can eat it. I'm gonna give it to Vu. Oh, did it work? It worked. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whoa, hold on. Ooh. This kind of hurts my eyes. But does this burn if I touch it? Is that... Oh! <gasps> well, it said they had fireproof skin. I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? Resistance, not proof. Yeah, but I don't know how... Resist high to... I don't know what the game was trying to do. Who knows? Some games, it's like, yeah, you, you're immune to fire damage. Or you take, like, 100% less fire... Whatever, 90% less fire damage. Yeah, at what point does fire resist become fire immunity? If I wear 500 fire-resistant t-shirts, can I go into the lava? At what point is it immunity? If I get into a fire-resistant spacesuit, can I... And it's airtight, can I, can I dunk into lava? Hey, anyways, who made the first sauce? Anybody know? What is that? I don't understand what that's trying to tell me. Like, don't touch that? Whoa, wait a minute. What, what is it? What, what, what is this? What did I do? I guess I turned it off because I went close to it? I can't... Whoa! Stop. A, oh my god. Where's my... Oh. My. God. What. A. Fucking. Disaster. I think that's my least... I think that's the part of the game that I don't like the most. Is like the... Hey, the light takes away all your powers. Haha. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Don't give me powers that are cool just to take them from me. Can you give each one of these a different voice? Yeah. My name is Weebop. My name is Squirrel. My name is Vu. I'm Gunu. I'm Gino. Guavo's my name. Guapo! Whoa, whoa! You gave... <laughs> you gave Guovo the protagonist voice. <laughs> Same two voices. Give me a break. Hey, you guys cannot minus two me. You guys cannot make fun of me for that. Some of your guys' favorite thing in the world 
is the starting the character select screen from Diddy Kong Racing. Please. Hey, it's Tip Top. Please, give me a break. You all love that shit. Oh, shit. Did that do something? Oh, fuck you. So you just, we just all have to lose our powers now. Lame. 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 That's lame. That's lame. Stop taking stuff from me. That's lame. Now half of you, now, now I don't even know who the fuck had what. And now I don't know what's missing from them. Lame. I get the whole, there's permanent upgrades now, but I don't know. I kind of, it's, it's hard to keep track of who has what. And if I know, oh, you are, you're like the dinosaur one that has the, don't. <laughs> get up here. Get up here. I heard him splash. I just heard a splash. Okay. He's alive. Look at all that down there. Please don't do that. I'm not telling him to do that. There's a chest. There's a button. Uh. Oh, uh, what if I, if I lose somebody? It's gonna be so. He was stupid. That was just. I he's dead, and now he's not coming back. I'm sorry, guys. That's how it works. I didn't do anything. He was really dumb, and we're just sorry, Gwe. <laughs> but you, I don't know what you were thinking. You just walked off the edge. There's nothing that can be done. I'm not. No, we are not reloading. Do you see? I'm not going back. Thirty-six minutes, Gwe is dead. Dude, you sorry. You talked about sauce for 36 minutes. <laughs> I didn't. Stop. I hate, that. I hate that feature of this game. All right. Let's go. Ooh! <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. I'm such a piece of shit and I don't even care. I wonder if this does anything. Is this just a ignite them and run around and kill stuff? Or will this blow up this um, dome? I don't know what the end game on this is. is that, you weren't even close. He wasn't even close. He wasn't even close to the explosion. He wasn't even close. What? What? Excuse, huh? He wasn't even close. Huh? It's, I can, oh, this is so bad. Eight, it's eight. No, it's free. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <laughs> All right, this game like one. Okay, I have a complaint. I have a complaint. Time to complain. This game wants you to like explore and like pick up items, but also kill you at every fucking turn. If the game wants you to. It's like two. It's like an oxymoron. The game. Like, oh, go searching for these items and. Watch out, die! It's not like Elden Ring. In Elden Ring, I can dodge around that guy and kill him very easily. I have offense in Elden Ring. Your trebums just fucking get rolled over and die. I can spit these little bombs and shit, but it doesn't fucking do anything. Are you still enjoying it? I am, but I'm starting to see through the cracks a little. I definitely want to finish it because I think it's a really interesting, fun game. But I am definitely, I'm definitely sniffing out the cracks here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, I, I just, let, let me cook, right? Come on, guys. Let me cook. This is kind of... Oh, shit. <gasps> egg! There's an egg. How am I supposed to get this egg? How would you get this? Boy, I, I don't... Huh? How would you get this egg? I think I'm just dead. Yeah, this is... How are you supposed to get this? This is not possible. Hey, Geely! <laughs> we saved Geely! Instantly dead. You just woke up and you 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 get you probably can't even process colors correctly and you're dead. <laughs> Spawn camp. Oh. That's what I go. That's what I imagine he's doing. <laughs> What? What? That was not. What? Even the mod, the mods are telling me to stop. We did it.
Excitement rushed through the Trebum as the Massim lens came to life and started rising into the air. They had to get off quickly, as staying on top of the majestic construct as it <laughs> rose would be quite dangerous. The Trebum marveled at the miracle their ancestors had wrought. Was I supposed what to other off? incredible things had they built that were now forgotten? Okay. Everyone's all right. A question for another day. For now, the Trebum had two more lenses to find. Two more lenses. <laughs> I have to read this. <laughs> he said, "Dude, this happened to my buddy Eric once." Do not kill this shit. That's so dumb. Get the fuck out of here. I can't even laugh at that comment. Dude, this happened to my buddy Eric once. And now people are gonna die, and I know where I can go. People will just die. Oh. Man, dude, this happened to my buddy Eric once. Please leave us alone. Oh my god. What is all this shit everywhere? What is this? Just ate everybody. I'm st all right. <laughs> Where are you going? Don't roll over there. <laughs> that's like so. Yeah, all right, that just looks. That looks fucking weird. It's not funny. It's just bizarre. It's just strange looking. I'm I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the absurdity of how I I, I feel I honestly feel like he could have got away from that. Is just what I'm saying. I feel like he kind of could have got away if he just went this way. He was kind of just like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. What a peculiar Be sight. A voice in their memories whispered. The servants of the cylinder were gathering in numbers to hunt and trap the Trebum. Now was the time to seek safety and wait for the hunters to desist. Huh? Oh, what? I don't. Even, I need food. Don't. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude. Very dusty. What? How? What? What did you do? What? What happened? How? Why? I don't... Okay, I'm not resetting for that. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. Uh-oh. The Trebum were terrified <laughs> of the monstrosity <laughs> ah, Watch out! <laughs> this is gonna kill everybody. Game over. This was a powerful servant of the Cylinder. Okay. Sent to prevent them from completing their quest. Yeah. No matter how small and frightened they were. What do we do about this? They had to find a way of fighting it. Okay, um... You... Shoot! Shoot shit at it. Shoot. Run over its fingers. Run, I'm gonna run its fingers over. Jeez. Got it. Ooh, shit! Somebody flew off. You fell off. L. <laughs> Stop saying that. No casualties so far. I don't want to speak too soon. Here it is. Everybody good? I think everyone's okay. That's gnarly. What if we just all die? Like, why don't I have the thing for fire resistance? I am so mad at this game for doing the power delete thing. People are just, we're just dying. I need to find one. I don't even remember what the fuck it was. Like, I, I genuinely don't even remember what it was. There's so many things in this game to remember. So go, go, go look, memorizing the this entire fucking encyclopedia to know what item to get. The dead one had it. Oh, what the? come on. Really? Is that what happened? That sucks. Maybe I can just start the event and it'll it'll be fine. This happens. Maybe we can cut it off and we'll just go. Will we get cutscened and live? 
Oh, we're gonna get cutscened and die. began rising into the air. To think their ancestors had created such things with ease. Perhaps one day they would regain this knowledge and create miracles of their own. <laughs> Shit! Everybody get under here. Quick, before somebody dies. Please stand underneath. Please stand underneath. You, and the people that aren't standing... I cannot tell... The, I cannot control that person to get over here. I'm going to control this person. They're all going to run behind... Look. Uh, you sound like a frustrated dad on a road trip. trip. It kind of is. Ah! Uh, fuck this game. Fuck this game. <laughs> no, fuck this game. Fuck this... Fuck the last, like, two hours of this game. Can I just tell you? Fuck this game. Fuck the last hour and 45 minutes of this game. Where is this stupid ass item? <laughs> I'm so like fucking mad at this game. I went from like, oh, I love this game. It's so cute to like, get me the fuck out of here. What the this stupid fucking bullshit. The game should have ended fucking two and a half hours ago. I would have loved it. You know what this game really desperately needs? And Pik Pikmin figured this out like 20 years ago. There needs to be a button for me to go. Da -da! And everybody like runs to where I am. Hey, give this man a true. <laughs> I like that color. We need to share this. I don't know what this is, but you're gonna eat it. <laughs> Crush small creatures while rolling. Cool. I love it. Uh, it was nice knowing you. You're guaranteed to die at the next... Um, Cylinder move. You, it's guaranteed that you're dead at the next cylinder move. Pretty close. Dude. Oh, come on. How Gunu died, but the one that rolls slower doesn't? <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> no, it's not. No! <laughs> nice job. Good work, everybody. His face looks different. <laughs> that was just crushed everybody. Oh, don't even. Not this shit. Eat. I need to eat. Hurry up. Eat, eat, eat. Who has food? Who has food on them? Somebody does, right? Oh, you bastard. At last, victory was achingly close. Three towers waited patiently for the lenses. All that Trevum needed to do was climb each one. And Let's pray. go that the wrath of the cylinder would be kept at bay until they were done. Damn it. I think that's correct. They seem to be in luck. The ancient device still worked, and the two other lenses What's, that the was wrong with painfully managed to Uno. lift into the skies? Yes, there they were. Just waiting for our little heroes to reach them. Why is he tilted this way? Only one more lens waiting to be awakened. Only one more struggle across sand or water. And they would have achieved the task they were entrusted with. It we're was so hungry. But the memory of the two brothers of the desert gave them the strength to keep going. Everyone's just, like, starving right now. <laughs> yeah, you just fucked me up so bad. Somebody just wrote, Just eat, dude, Omega Lull. Just eat, dude, Omega Lull. Like, that, you, that was funny. Do I aim it at him? <laughs> Die! Die! I feel like I'm playing House of the Dead. This is just every light gun game. Holy shit! The Trebum, 
in shock and having barely survived, did not know what to think. One of their most dangerous Holy enemies shit. lay dead. Uh, hold on. The eternal cylinder was immobile. Get on his calf and eat. Distance. The floating palace where they had expected to dance and sing for all those left behind was out of reach. What? <laughs> oh and then God. came a call. It was very subtle. <laughs> we ripped this guy in half. But grew stronger and stronger. Was it the ones trapped in the cylinder calling to the treble? Was it the voice and their memories urging them on? The portal into the cylinder's dreams lay open. They had not yet reclaimed all the abilities of their ancestors. Wandering that strange world once again would take great bravery. But with this all shit. they'd been through, they had gained the courage to do what needed to be done. It might be reckless. It might be dangerous. But they had to step inside one more time. Oh, I don't like this. Once again, they had... You have... You have returned. Can you hear me? Everything is falling apart. But don't underestimate the power of the cylinder. Existence is suffering. The cause of suffering is attachment to the ego. Ego is the separation of consciousness from universal oneness. Suffering will continue as long as consciousness remains separate. Only the unification of all consciousness will end suffering. Birth is suffering. Aging is suffering. Illness is suffering. Death is suffering. Separation is suffering. Suffering will Leads end to hate. when there is one consciousness. Leads when to the, the dark consciousness side. of the one is the consciousness of the universe. And there is no distinction between self and other, object and subject, that which perceives and that which is perceived. The variety of forms is a cause of suffering. All forms must be made alike. All forms must be made one. I shouldn't have eaten all those random Only fucking steaks on that tree. One with the cylinder will suffer and cease. Gunu. The cylinder is perfection. The cylinder is its liberation from suffering. It's like a regular door. The cylinder will continue until all things are one. The window? When all things are one, when all forms are perfected within the cylinder, then the cylinder will cease and there will be peace. All is one. One is all. One is nothing. Nothing is all. Not if I have anything to say about it. There are gaps. Me! All might! Imperfections. Come on, come on, that was a good one. Get in the cylinder. Gunu, you must make it for the cylinder. I don't know I don't know if I have, I don't know have the strength to do it. Conspiracy of what ghosts. What happened? How long had they been in the cylinder's mind? Doesn't look too good on it her. It felt like a short time to the Trebum, but when they returned, the world had changed. It seemed as if parts of the cylinder itself had spilled out, its dreams corrupting the land. The cylinder lay still, but there was no sign of the mathematician. Yeah, we vaporized him. What? Time to go! The cylinder kept moving. That the mathematician had been struck down meant nothing to it. It was the master. It was eternal. Its servants were only tools. If they broke, they would be tossed aside. So what do you think really happened? I think the Trebums are society. And I think the cylinder is destruction. Dude, that's a seventh grade essay right there. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I was supposed to write an essay on, on like uh, uh, the economy or something, right? And I, I just played the eternal cylinder for like five days. I didn't do my homework, so I was like, fuck, hold on. I got it. And I just write it about this game. <laughs> Don't act like you didn't do that. Come on.
Let's not pretend like that's not something we all did. And if you've, if the paper was written good enough, there was nothing to be upset about. And plus, I, I don't think the teacher, re like for whatever teachers, I don't think that they knew what the eternal cylinder was, right? And I'm, obviously this game didn't exist, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago. But it's not like, oh yeah, that's not what happened in that game. They would have to play through it to understand it. So it's, you kind of, you, you were good. You wrote about the TF2 economy. You know, I will tell you though, you get a somebody, you get a young person interested in something and they can tie it to real world kind of educational stuff. That's a win. That's a win. That's not a loss. Writing about the TF2 economy, I would have sat there and I would have written down a hundred pages and I would have loved every second of it. Yeah, if, it, it's, if it's written well, that, that's what I mean. As long as it's written well and you can make a couple of good points with it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. What about if I liked Crazy Taxi? <laughs> See, that way... <laughs> you might get two sentences out of that one. I don't know if you could get a whole paper out of that. I'm not sure how you... I, maybe I guess you could tie it to... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe. I think there's a line that you have to be aware of. Like, you can't... You cannot just be like, Oh, no, 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 no! I had to do all this research! You had to play COD for, you know, fucking like 60 hours uh, over the last week, couple weeks. Yeah, I had to do that because, you know, I'm going to tie it into the paper. Mm, I'm, I don't know about that. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more time on my paper. Um, I was thinking about maybe not, not coming in on fucking Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I got to play a little bit more COD to figure this out. <laughs> I don't know why they would have that accent. <laughs> like a 40-year-old like guy from Boston. Yeah, I don't know if I can teach. I don't know how to teach. I don't know if I can come in. I got to play fucking COD to do this paper. Sir, why are you here? Why are you in this classroom? Oh, I need to write a fucking paper. What am writing a paper right now? Yeah, we're we're going over right now, um King Tut. That's fucking easy. Alright, I'll write a paper about fucking King Tut, dude. That's simple. That's the easiest thing I've done all week. By the way, that 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 guy never comes back. That guy interrupts the teacher over and over again during the one time he shows up with just absolutely completely off base everything's just wrong and then he just never comes back and then like a year later hey dude uh, what, what, what didn't you have what, didn't you go to like some class yeah yeah a long time ago i have a paper due for about fucking i don't know uh some somebody something in egypt or something i don't know i don't fucking care i think it's due in like a week he's still working on it <laughs> yeah he's still working on it <laughs> He's got the title, and you look up, you look up for this motherfucker's typing in like 16 point font. It's got one sentence. Like, uh, 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 you gotta have to redo some of this. I always got such unbelievably awful writer's block whenever I had to do papers in, in high school, in college, and everything. I'd get, oh, we need a, you need a 10 page paper. Or a certain amount of words, right? Word count, whatever it was. I'd, I'd get halfway through this shit, and I would just, I couldn't keep going. I'd get six pages done, and I would have said all my thoughts, all the things that I cared about, and it was really, really clean, and it was really well written, but I needed another, like, six or seven hundred words, and it's just, I, I don't, it's, come on, I, I, I've made all the points I need to make. So then what you end up doing, and this is, no, let's talk about education for a second. When you get to that point where you have a ten-page paper, and you got seven, and it's perfect, you then have to go back and go into it and add a bunch of fucking filler bullshit. And it ends up one sentence, and you end up stretching it into f four paragraphs for one sentence. Each word becomes its own paragraph. When I had a concise, clear, very well-written seven-page paper. Does it have to be 10? Can I, can I just, can you just grade me on the merits of my points and my thoughts? Does it have to be 10 pages? What if it was nine pages? What if it was 9.999 pages? What are you gonna do? Give me an F? And now, not every single teacher or professor was like that. You know, I, I think I had plenty of teachers over the years that were just like, yeah, just, it, it can't be like two. Like, if, you, if, if it's a 10 page paper and you give me two pages, come on, Gwen. That's not gonna, that's just not gonna fly. If I was the teacher, I would just write back. And you know what? Let's say, let's say, let, let's talk about the due date. All right, so due date comes around. Let's say the due date is, what, what's today? Today is uh, February, February 5th. If the due date is February 6th, and you give me three pages, that's what, you, that's what you hand in, and it's due, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say three pages. Come on, Gwen. And I'm going to say, you got another three days. Come on. I'm going to write, come on. I'm going to write, come on, Gwen. 
and I'm gonna get, you're gonna get three days. What if they turn that same three pages in after three days? I that th you you failed. Um, what do you want me to say? You can't just hand the same thing in. You hand the same thing in. Is there anything behind that? Is there any like oh hey let, let's talk, or is it just hey yeah I got it. It's three pages. And it's like man oh, wait what do you mean? What if yeah okay if if it's a big difference. There's a big difference between something happened in my personal life and I need extra time versus I like got high on the sofa for three days and ate four bags of potato chips. There's a difference between those two things. What if it was a perfect point? They were so good. The paper was so good. I mean, <laughs> what two page? Uh, it depends on the topic. If the topic required 10 pages, like there was 10 pages of sourcing and and material to go through it. If, if it was a big, big subject to, for you to do a big kind of thesis on. Mm -mm. But, you know, five? If you got to like four or five, I would be like, okay. What if you... <laughs> <laughs> what if you literally cried reading it because it was so moving? Well, then I don't... I, then he, then she, I, she, yes. Okay, I'll give you a C plus. I'm sitting here thinking about just sobbing over a two-page paper on, like, economics. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is fucking moving shit. I can't believe it. This is so insane. I don't even... What is... No, oh my goodness. This is so moving. This paper about... This paper about, uh, like, the, the treasury yield curve. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't even know what to say at this point. Yeah. You nailed it. You nailed it. Okay, what if it was three pages and on the fourth page was a $50 bill? Well, that would be, um, that would be very, very bad teacher malpractice. You got, I mean, you got to add a few zeros. And I'm returning that to you. I'm returning it to you. There's going to be $4,000 in there. And I'm going to go, I th hey, excuse me, um, there, you, you, what do you think you're doing here, putting four thousand dollars in here, trying to bribe me, student? No, no, but it was, it was five. Oh, how much? No, it, you put four thousand dollars in there, and it was really, really messed up. And let me tell you, stuff like that could get you in a lot of fucking trouble. Five thousand dollars for a high school paper? No, I'm. <laughs> All right, I don't know if it's late, but this is doing, this is doing it for me tonight. You should shower. Uh, I showered seven or eight weeks ago. The Trebum were relieved to find an elder alive in the cave. But what she had to tell them was sobering. Yeah, I'm good. The end draws near, my friends, the elder said. The mathematician may seem dead, but the servants of the cylinder are not so easily defeated. I can feel your despair, but trust me, there is light no, I shower every, you every see morning. only dark. You have accomplished a great deed for our people. You have reclaimed our powers from the cylinder. No one has done such a thing before. Now you need only board the floating palace and leave with the secrets of our kind restored. But you cannot do this on your own. You will need the help of our oldest friends. Find the creatures that feast on the fallen Trawala and steal from them what they have stolen. With that ingredient, the you core. will acquire a great power, the power to communicate with the Trawala. They are the only ones who can lift you into the heavens and carry you to your salvation. They keep attacking. All right, we got to find this creature to attack this creature, to find this creature, to then attack this creature, to get us power from that creature. This is, yeah, it's beautiful. Like I said, the, the the art direction on this game is is a ten out of ten. Creature sound effects, nine point two. This guy over here, three. Desert area, two. Overall, pretty fun. Snow area, seven. First zone, nine. This zone right here, eight point seven. The narrator, nine point five. All of the Trebum friends. 9.6. Why 9.6 and not 10? Well, because there was two times when I was interrupted by the narrator and it made me very upset. You ever played Borderlands? I have played Borderlands. I didn't really get into it. It was kind of, I don't know, too much 
bullshit all over the screen. And I know I just said bullshit. The game, I don't hate the game. Okay, whatever. Everyone's going to hate me now. Borderlands has that problem for me where... I don't know how maybe some, of you, maybe some of you guys will agree with this. I really don't like games. And I might be contradicting myself. Because someone's going to be like, you love this. You love this. Games that have ultimates. Where it's just, oh, okay. It's a one minute cooldown. And then press this and... And you just kill kind of everything. I don't, I'm not like a big fan of ultimates. And maybe it's because... I feel like they they make a lot of the game really easy. Where it's just, okay, every 30 seconds I have this move that makes me do like a million damage. I'd rather be precise and have precision headshots. I just, I like it when a game does not have ultimates. If, well, in a in like a single player PvE kind of game. PvP, right, ultimates are built into you know, every sort of League of Legends type game. Any, any game that's like a competitive multiplayer has them, right? Or most of them do. Oh, that's a raid. That's a big raid. That's a vine sauce raid. What's up? I hear you played this game too. I hear that you've played this before. Eternal Cylinder. I loved it. Hated it. Loved it again. We're back on the love it. We're back in the love it arc. Like I, I think I actually I'm having a good time again. Vinny hates this game. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny hated this game. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. This is wait, Hold on a minute. Actually, true, 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 no, 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 true, true, true. Hold, wait, hold on. Did we begin to hate the game at the same spot? I'm very curious. At what point did, did Vinny say this? He thought it was too long. He admits he hates it. No, 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 hold on. We gotta, we gotta uh, correct the record here. There was a point where I was not having a good time. It was during the desert hot part where I didn't have the right thing and I soft locked myself and it was annoying. And I was an annoying feature. And I'm, the vibes are back, and I'm... Oh, Vinny didn't bounce back. <laughs> it's so funny that I'm playing this game. Well, you're gonna see the end of it again, because we're at the end here. What a strange place, the Trebon thought. But even stranger were the feelings that stirred in their memories, like a voice from a lost world Are we like long ago. kids or something? Are we children? What are you doing back? What? Why Why do you hate the playground? Don't reach for us. Their worst fears had come true. Oh. The mathematician was alive. And now he had brought forth this wheel. <laughs> no, of not the light. No, I hate the light. The light sucks. End. What do I do about this? I haven't even eaten. We're starving. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I've got a bunch of bombs. Where's the demolition person? You. All right, Vu. You know what to do. Bringing down this towering monstrosity seemed almost impossible to the Oops. Trevor. But yeah, all suck me up. Suck me up. Have a solution. If you're clever enough, and this one was no different. The creature grabbed at its prey so blindly and so greedily, it could be made to absorb almost anything. Absorb it. Who's dead? Where's Gogwomu? Can you morons get over here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said morons. I did call them morons. But I what I meant to say was, where is I'm getting frustrated again. Where is this fucking treb whatever they are? Do you suck at this, bro? What? <laughs> I don't I really don't think I do. I think it's just fucking goofy, okay? I think it's a little goofy. If you have to let, I think it's a little goofy is what I think. All right, got it. <laughs> Please tell me what the fuck is going on. I don't think I can. Don't you dare, dude. Zero. <laughs> zero. It's, that's the, we're, we're, you're bringing the zero back. I don't care what this bath petition ends up being. I'm throwing a grenade at him at the end of the game. No, oh, you see, it's humanity. No, I don't. I'm throwing a grenade at you. You're getting a grenade. I'm telling you right now, you're getting a grenade at the end of the game. Yeah, right now, you guys are looking at the vibes meter. And you're not telling me 
You know... You're not saying it, you're not telling me, but you're very concerned right now because right now your screen is blinking red. And all you hear in your ears is really loud. I'm dead. I'm just, just kill me. Who has swimming ability? Oh, 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 none of them do. <laughs> because of the yellow light. Of course. How could I have forgotten? That's of my bad. Why is there a giant lake in the middle? <laughs> like, just my brain is sitting here just thinking, God damn it. Why is there a lake in the middle? I mean, it could be a small lake. Somebody's dead. Somebody died. At last. One of the creatures was walking around carelessly in the corrupted plains of what was left of the world. All that Trevor needed to do was to steal its core, or more precisely, the core it had stolen from whatever poor Trefala it had eaten. Yeah, Guna's fine. But the creature, it's okay. though slow and uninterested in the tiny so, Trevor, have stealth legs? had a frightful layer of teeth protecting its prize. Could a nimble enough Trebum snatch that prize right out of its jaws? Hmm. All right, Gunu. Go in there with your default body, your default legs, your default head. Who else we got? Oh, we've got default, default, default. I forgot that you had stuff and I thought, I thought something was wrong with you. Default. All right, let's go. I got it! Oh, joyous indeed! The Trebums found the weird liver that was inside of the scary monster. But it seems they don't know exactly where they need to go. Maybe if the yellow light came and took all their powers away, they would find a new way. Can I eat this? As soon as the trail <laughs> it kind of looked like a fucking it dork. to feel a call, as if it was being drawn to some place <laughs> nearby. It was now the master of song. The master of song, it's me. Its voice to be heard. It's time for Gunu to sing the song. A memory awoke within the Trebum of an ancient ritual, a song at the top of a Trebum tower to forge a bond between Trebum and Trafal. Oh! Get off me! <laughs> no! Of <laughs> Come back! Nearby. Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! Is it, are you all right? Are you, oh my god, I just got sniped from across the whole game! All right, place your bets. Is it going to be a Yoshi story song? Is it going to be super funny and cute? Is it going to be like, yeah. I hope it is. At the top of this tower, Right here in this place and with a proper mutation. Now was the time for the Trebum to sing. Who calls for us in this time of darkness? Who has learned the ancient song? Have our old friends remembered us? Hear our voice, Trebum. There is little time left, and much is at stake. It was long ago that your people sang to the heavens. Your song traveled far into the cosmos, and we listened. Here on your world, we made a new beginning, leaving behind the sorrows of our history. We began to build a better world, a world of friendship and harmony. But the beauty of your song pierced time and space, far into the darkest and coldest corners of the universe. That's how the cylinder found us. And when it came, it took everything from us. The bright future we had dreamt of is gone. But we bear you no ill will, old friends. Silence may be safer. But what is life without song? You reached out to the stars because you were full of hope, and that hope must be preserved. We know what you are trying to accomplish, and we will help you, but we require your help too. See me strike at the abomination, and then meet me where only shattered pieces are left of the evil that I have undone. 
I love how they're like, your beautiful song. And it was just me kind of going like, <laughs> one second. Oh my god. Quick, touch the brain. Touch the brain. Everybody touch the brain. You, you can come too. In fact, you be the first one to touch it in case it's poisoned. Hear me, Trouble. You carry in your bodies the entirety of your people's history, written into your very being. A great gift that only your kind possesses. We can break. We can, we can turn this into this crystals. Gift, you have been able to reclaim much of what the cylinders stole from you. But we do not share your gift. We have lost so much. If we die, there will be nothing to remember us by. And if we live, it will be as shadows of our ancestors. But when the cylinder streams spill into the world, a glimpse of hope tumbled out with them. Fragments of our past have fallen into this land, and only you can reclaim them using your people's gift. The Cylinder, in its eternal arrogance, does not want to lose what it has conquered. So it has formed these strange alien heads to protect the fragments. Soon, it will wake from its slumber and reabsorb them. Oh, half of us are dead. Consume That's sad. Fragment, let our memories become yours, and then seek out two more. That is all we require. Two more? Enough for us to be remembered. And maybe to become ourselves again. Do this for us, and we shall carry you to your path. Now go. Seek two more towers and call for our help. And then all this will finally end. Do I eat this thing? The voice urged them to go forward and reclaim the memories of the Trawala. Well, given this to Gunu. Trawala legs? What does that do? Look for water. <laughs> Look for water. You are dying of thirst. Hurry. There's not much time. Is it actually going to get me? It's going to kill somebody. We have to move on, though. We have to go. Sorry, Grupo. Grupo's dead. We have to sing the song now. As the Trebum reached this new area, they were glad to see two great Good. towers. Nearby. No, stop! I stop talking to me. I look at all this bullshit. Look at this. They so badly want to remove this singing song helmet from my head. Look at this. They just like so badly want me to get this taken off, so I have to go in that monster's ass or whatever it is, its mouth. I no, I no. The answer, the answer to this question is. No, I'm just going to save scum. <laughs> staff are asking for a raise. One of your staff has died. The mighty Trawala had been cast down. Was this the end? Was all in vain? So it seemed at first, but a small crack had been opened and a ray of light had escaped the darkness. In a world where titans clashed and monsters battled, it was only the smallest and most unlikely of heroes who could make a difference. Gotta go in there. The Trevum had fought this creature before and beaten it. They would do so again for themselves, for the Trawala, and for the future. For the guild. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. He's doing this stun move. And now I'm going to explode and kill my Trebum allies. Bro, you're going to turn the game off. You cannot come this far and turn the game off. I, I will never be able to, to live with this. I would never be able to... I wouldn't be able to look at myself in the mirror. I'd be like, you let... You... Sorry, bastard. Be pointing into the mirror. I'd say, you let those Trebums down and their world got destroyed by the giant rolling pin. And you could have stopped it. But you didn't. So again, pick it up! 
for the Trawala. Oh my god, I'm starting to think that I don't care about the fucking Trawala or the Trevlums anymore. Just roll the pin, roll it over everybody. I'm starting to not give a shit about the Trawala. You know what? Rolling pin all of Earth. <laughs> Dude, you don't understand. If you were playing this right now, you would be you would be saying, holy shit, this is fucked up. Why I'm pressing A and it feels like I'm pressing B. I'm pressing up and it feels like I'm pressing down. I'm telling you, if you had the controller in your hand right now, you'd be saying the same shit. You'd be saying the same stuff. I'm telling you right now. This is, uh... 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 This is... Uh... 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 I'm just gonna say uh-uh. And you'll know what I mean by that. Uh-uh. There's no aim in the game either. He tripped over a rock and died. Good. If, if this is not over... After I do this one, this next one over there. Don't. It's almost like you're watching right now. That wasn't even hard. It was just dumb. Okay? It wasn't hard. It was just dumb. Sad. That was actually made me feel bad. Struck as mighty as ever, the fragment was exposed and ready to be taken. Oh, that was sad. Brave Treble, oh. we thank you for your courage. For so long, we had lost all hope and knew all the rage. Now we are humbled to see our past and our future all carried within such a small creature. When you are ready, let the Trevum that holds all three of the Trewala mutations What? Wait, 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 wait. You have fought so hard. Excuse me, sir. But make sure you are prepared, for we shall not be able to return you to this land. Do you have to have all three on one? That's not accurate. The Trebum had recovered the you lost fucked memories. up? No. The voice said they had to keep going. We told you. To find the Trawala and renew the ancient bond of friendship that was once the pride of this world. The tree. Get away from me! Stop! Leave me the fuck alone! I'm trying to process what just happened. Okay, I'm trying to <laughs> that that guy just erased like 500 million years of history. Okay, that fucking ball of goo or whatever that was just it disintegrated like a million years of history. Yeah, we got Gunu, it's fine. Alright, everybody quiet. Big reveal time. We cannot know what the future holds for us. All we have in the end is this moment. And in this moment, all we can ask is that you sing to us. Sing to us of who we were and the things that we witnessed. In the days when the Tretum and the Trual lived together under the same stars. Final boss? Maybe? Sweet, sweet victory! What do I do? You must survive. Protect the memories. Just stay alive. The Trawala will help. All right, let's go. 
Pretty cool. That was pretty sick. Come on, everybody, stay alive. We have to have at least the three or four of us. There's five of us, but you know what I mean? Even if I didn't count two of you, two of you right now are freaking out saying, why did he say that? Come on, Gunu, stay alive. You have to be the one that makes it. You're the only one that can sing. The other guy, oh! No! Oh no, they're all dead. I'm dead. Full wipe. Was it scripted? Holy shit, it's just me and you. Who are you? What's your name? Vogru, of course. Of course it's Vogru. Come on, we gotta go. It's, it's just kind of a regular person. Thank you, my young friends. You have accomplished what thousands of civilizations before you failed to. You've shown that the cylinder is imperfect. It may not have lost the war, but it certainly lost a battle. And that's never happened before. There's so much more I wish I could tell you. But there's not enough of me left. Be inside and of it? I have one final goal. So forgive me for inserting myself into your memories and for having to leave them again so soon. Hey, Eric, if you're here, yeah, I just want to say that, like, we're cool. Are we cool, Eric? Are we cool? Wait, you're not gonna go push it again. Everybody, this Dasher, this Donner, this Bluetooth. I don't know the one in the back. And so the Trebum, who were not the strongest nor the fastest, and who did not have sharp teeth, escaped the eternal cylinder. They did not become one, but stubbornly stayed many. And they learn to be loyal not only to their own kind, but to others. Their great victory over the inevitable was the victory of generations, of the elders and the Trawala and my own people, whose name Human. I cannot remember. But even as what is left of me fades away, and though one day the cylinder may resume its destruction, I know that I was part of this family, if only for a little while. And that gives me hope. Humans made the cylinder. It was like a fucking crazy, awful project. They got too out of hand. They started flattening planets. They went to this place. They flattened this with somebody's planet. And this human kind of uploaded himself into the cylinder and he tried to, he's trying to stop it. He's the narrator the whole time. It's always the humans. But that, I, that was a, that was solid. I, I am happy that I played it. Let's put it that way. That's going to wrap it up here. I'm not going to give you a score. I don't think I should. I enjoyed the experience. It was 
better than a six. It was better than a seven. I'm not going to score it. It was lower than an eight. It was better than a six, but it was lower than an eight. That's pretty much it. You just scored it. Well, yeah, I did. <laughs> True. Yes, all right, I did. It's a seven. Whatever. You, you'll figure it out. It's in that range. You'll figure it out.